Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. It is 2.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this 11th day of March, 2021. Taking a look at Bitcoin, uh, kind of want to dive into the structure that exists because somebody had asked me a question about that. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, this is for any of you Elioticians out there because there's a lot of you. And let's just make sure that we get these correct. So. I'm going to make these a little bigger. So we started down here. And we get to wave one. Two. Three. Four. And then we get all the way up to five. All right. And then inside of here. This is a weekly chart. We get into our first corrective move, which some people go, oh my gosh, that can't be the corrective move. Well, it can be because the inside, it's without getting into too, so many specifics. Yes, it can be. There's, I'm just kind of throwing those in there for now. Let's get into this next move. All right. Now we're into the next five part swing the next impulse wave. By the way, Elliott wave is very subjective. Okay, where do we go from there? Well, let's take a look. First, let's look at the uh, Fibonacci expansions from our prior swings. And so that's from one to two. Those are our Fibonacci levels. They were respected. And then let's look at the next swing. Let's go from two to three to four on that expansion. Looks great. And now we're going to build off this guy here. So we're going to start from this swing low up to wave one, down to wave two, go across. Let me make these letters a little bigger. I think I can. Yes. Where did we end up stopping here? So this extension, this, this, these numbers come from the Fibonacci extension from our swing low at uh, 16,203 to wave one at uh, 42,051 to wave two. There's the corrective wave inside of there um, at 32,180. Fibonacci extension brings us all the way up to the 100% level of that move. Um, this is a, by the way, this is a logarithmic chart. Okay, logarithmic, not a, not a linear chart. Um, 58,038, which is really where we see us stopping out today. And we see where the all-time high was. It stopped in that area too. Now, how much higher can it go? Where would we see wave five stop? Wave five will probably stop at 73,920. I know that seems a little nutty, but really it, it's not. And if we want to take the entire kind of the structure, um, it, you know, we get a corrective wave after that, that will more than likely bring us down to retest the 40K, maybe 32K zone. But the next zone is around that 70K value area. So if we do break out, that's the, that's the next big zone. I mean, if you want to look at this, if you want to look even bigger picture. All right, if we want to look even bigger and we look at this broad you know, move that we've had with Bitcoin, um, depending on how you want to view it, you know, there's... There's a lot of cases that would suggest that we are, you know, entering into a new cycle, all right? Because we've had, let me do this here. We've had this one, two, three, four, five. And then you have the corrective wave of one, two, three. And then you go into one, two, three, four, five again, okay? What's the extension off of 
this move over here. So if we're if you know if we're starting a new move, a new broad, you know, crazy move. I'm sorry, I messed that up. Right around here, boom. Looking at my notes, and I put the wrong dates in there. But one, two, three, and they got one, two. We're in our third. We're in our third move here. I knew it looked funny. Now we've got, let me get rid of all these up here. Clean it up a bit, but we'll, I'll keep that extension there. Now we are in one, two, three, Where do we go from here? That's a good question. It can go a lot higher. Um, you know, there's there's a there's a lot of of things that would suggest. Sorry, I'm putting three over here. Um, there's a lot of things that point to some pretty dramatic rises, and the third expansion level from that. I'm just going to go from kind of a flat low there to this swing. Okay, so I just decided to clean this up before continuing on. These are the these are the extensions, all right? So uh, this Fib extension that we see here that I'm clicking on, let me just highlight it by making the levels thicker and thinner, all right? So that's from two, three, and four. That's the extension. So the 100% extension is all the way up at 122,000 and so forth. Um, now we don't need it to be that drastic. There we go. And then from the next swing that we did is from the four to the five and the corrective, we get up to here. Oops. We get to the 100% range up there, but then the 618 is really where we kind of are near that um, that uh, uh, near-term all-time high. But then as we get even further up here, you can see that on the bigger swing extension, that brings us all the way up to, up to 122,000. Now, let me just hide that one. I'll, yeah, I'll hide that one and this one. And now this extension from the December 2018 low, this is pretty much a structure we're in now. Um, the 200% level shares the 100% range. So, you know, the short term, I guess, I guess near term long for the th for three is up at 117,000. We're probably going to get up to that 66,000, 60K zone. Um, I, it's Bitcoin, so it could go like 60 to 70K before we pull back. And we'll see it rest somewhere between 30 and 40 before it extends all the way up to 117,000. Not very difficult to get to around 117,000 um, before the uh, end of 2021. Just keep that in mind. Thank you guys for watching. And I look forward to speaking with you in our future videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe.